Hey, what is up guys? My name is Nate and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 Nuclear. So I am just grinding the living crap out of this game. Even with it not being optimized very well and uh, the servers being kind of laggy and getting quite a bit of a uh, lag comp, I am just absolutely loving it. It's super fast paced like Advanced Warfare, but you can control it and still do really well. Like they did it way, way better. Like just seeing how fun the game is right now just makes me so excited for the future. This game is only going to get better through patches and updates and uh, I cannot wait. So already this is the third episode of a nuclear with every gun and uh, this episode is with the Razorback. So this is actually the weapon I got my world record with. So if you guys didn't know I was the first person to get a nuclear on Black Ops 3 PC. So if you guys didn't know when the Black Ops 3 beta came out uh, within like the first 45 minutes or something I got uh, I got the first nuclear and at that point it was definitely my favorite weapon but that is because of course it was a uh, pretty overpowered and so of course right away uh, they patched it and now it's not as good and so that is why I think in the last video I said uh, it's not my favorite SMG anymore but now that I've played a few more games with it I don't know dude I think it still is my favorite SMG like I mean this thing is just a straight laser and it's so so accurate and even though it doesn't kill as fast as it used to, it still kills pretty quickly. So anyways, uh, on your screen right now, you're going to see my class that I was using for this. I'm using the Razorback with stock and extended mags. So in the upcoming episodes, um, you're going to see extended mags coming up a lot. And like the past day, uh, a lot of stuff has changed with Black Ops 3. So I know I talked about how um, I haven't been really running into like multiple enemies at a time. It's been a lot of 1v1 gunfights uh, that I was losing because of lag comp. But now I'm running into, you know, three, four people at a time. And in a lot of those times, I run out of ammo before I can get all of them. Which, of course, kills me off of uh, streaks and nuclear streaks. So I'm slapping on extended mags on pretty much every single gun I use just to make sure I can get, you know, those three and four pieces. Which can save me on my nuclear streaks and also, you know, they can just be awesome clips. And then I'm using stock, which uh, I, I'm pretty much going to use stock on every single weapon in this game. Except for, you know, secondaries and the shotguns. But I mean, even on the sniper rifles, I use stock. And it's actually, if you guys haven't tried it already, use stock on the locust. It's so, so good. Anyways, moving on to the perks. Um... I think this is the same exact thing as last video. I'm using Six Sense, Fast Hands, uh, Scavenger, Awareness, and uh, Tactical Mask. So I've decided at this point that uh, Six Sense is a little bit more useful to me than uh, Ghost. When I have Six Sense and I have uh, Awareness, I'm just too quick to killing people before they even realize I'm on the UAV. Which isn't meant to come off, you know, cocky, it's just the truth. Having Six Sense and Awareness, I pretty much pre-fire everything. So even if I'm on the UAV, you know, they don't really have time to uh, kill me. Unless, of course, I get some insane amount of lag comp, which doesn't actually happen that uh, rarely. But I definitely will start putting a ghost on there uh, in the later episodes when I start getting to the more difficult weapons, like some of the secondaries. But at the moment, I don't really need it with these primary weapons that are mostly all really good guns. And then, of course, I'm just using fast hands and uh, scavenger. Same exact thing, you know, fast hands, just so uh, everything is a little bit more quicker in the transition. And then your aim is going up a lot quicker when you're ADSing. Scavenger, because I have to have scavenger, uh, that's going to be on... I think every single class uh, in this series. Awareness, another thing that I don't think I'm ever going to take away unless, you know, they patch it insanely. Because right now it's like probably the most useful perk in the game. And then I'm using Tactical Mask, which I might actually switch this out eventually because right now I'm not getting stunned or flashed or anything like at all. And I'd much rather use Dead Silence just to make sure if uh, somebody else is using Awareness, they can't sound whore me. And then of course I can't hear my own footsteps, which is uh, also very, very helpful. And to say it right now, just to make sure I don't forget again, I'm using the Outrider Specialist. So what I'm doing is I'm pretty much going through all the specialists and uh, unlocking like all of their gear that you can unlock. Because uh, a lot of you have probably already seen there's like this hero, like extra gear that you can unlock. And I think the way you get that is by unlocking the gear from all of the specialists combined. So I'm trying to do that. I really want to unlock that, you know, hero gear. I, I think it's going to look really cool. But uh, for this stage, I was using the Outrider Specialist. And I don't really much like her uh, bow and arrow, but her uh, vision pulse ability is insane. So you don't get it like super frequently, but you do get it quite a bit. And what it does is it pretty much just gives you like a wall hack wherever you're facing. But of course, it's a, it's a specific distance. So, you know, you can't just like use it and then see everybody in the entire map through the walls. But it is uh, very, very helpful. You see, I use it a lot of times in this games where... Uh, 
I think like my uh, hater ran out and so I just used it pretty much just walled somebody and uh, took them out without even getting shot this is one thing in advanced warfare that I didn't really like was uh with that UAV it gave you wall hacks but it gave you them like for a long time and it gave like the entire team the wall hacks too so in that sense it was kind of overpowered but with this it's really really not with this it's only a certain distance it literally lasts for like maybe one or two seconds and it's only for you it's not for the rest of your team so that's just another thing that i think uh, treyarch did really really well but yeah this map um i don't know exactly what it's called i can't remember i think it's like fringe or something like that uh this is slowly becoming my favorite map in the game i can use shotguns smgs ars even snipers is actually really really fun on this map for the first nuclear that uh on the full release that i uploaded on my channel the first clip was actually on this map with the sniper rifle like i think I think there's just so many places to peek and hide around that it's really good for sniping and it's fun at the same time because it's uh it's actually pretty small so you get a lot of action but you can control it which is always amazing but anyways guys uh the gameplay is about to end i do end up going 40 and 2 in tdm which to me is actually a pretty awesome score uh too bad though i die to a haymaker like i think i get i think i get like one unstoppable and then just like instant die from a, a haymaker from a guy like flying off a wall uh a lot of that has been happening recently uh tons of haymakers just everywhere dude no doubt in my mind that they are uh, gonna get patched very soon but anyways guys if you did enjoy the video if you drop down a like that would be amazing and uh thank you guys all for watching the video and i'll see you in the next one see you later